From America's Got Talent, please welcome Geechee Guy. Thanks for coming out. Um, I almost didn't make it here tonight. There was a sign that said no turn on red, but it was at a flashing red light, and I had to time it. <laughs> it took me about a half hour. A police officer tried to pull me over for not having a rear view mirror, but I didn't see him. You'll get these in a second. Some of these are like joke grenades. You gotta tell them and then. Wait like eight seconds. You like my jacket? I was gonna wear my camouflage jacket, but I couldn't find it. This is a great jacket. I know what you're thinking. I have that couch. Are you gambling? Yeah. Are you winning money? I'm not good at gambling. I try counting cards. I keep getting 52. You know what I saw here in Vegas? I saw a transvestite walk into a woman's bathroom. That takes balls. I'm not gay myself. I have one thing in common though with gay guys. We have the same amount of sex with women. You know, they say if you took all the gay guys in Las Vegas and laid them end to end, that it wouldn't be the first time. I, I, I went to one of those fancy pool parties. They have a naked pool party in town. I went there. I got arrested there this summer. Yeah, you know what they tried to charge me with? They tried to charge me with um, putting on my sunscreen too fast. Yeah, do you want me to explain that to you people? I'm not here for me. I've heard them all. It's a topical joke. Here's a new rule. In order to be qualified for Woman of the Year, how about you have to be a woman for the whole year? How about that? I'm in a weird mood. I locked my coat hanger in my car. Good thing I had my keys. I came into town on the bus. I like riding the bus. It's strange though, ever since I was a little kid, my mom used to say, there's always one weirdo on every bus. I couldn't find him. I saw a show on TV called a Locked Up Abroad. Okay, who hasn't done that? I saw a show, I, um, I saw a show, Crocodile Hunter, I saw a show, he died. It was weird, when he died, everybody said it was a freak accident. It wasn't a freak accident. I mean, it was a horrible accident, but we gotta save those words for what they really mean or they're gonna lose their meaning. Here's my definition of a freak accident. A freak accident is when you're taking a shower and you get hit by a train. <laughs> In my day, a selfie was something you did in the bathroom with the door locked. <laughs> Don't get me started on a selfie stick. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> my wife, we've been together 21 years. I haven't even looked at another woman. I am that discouraged. <laughs> we have a cat. We have a cat, and um, how do you, we had to get our cat neutered. How do you explain that to a cat? Okay, we're going to take your testicles. That's all. We came up with a plan to make him feel better about it, though. Here's what we did. A couple weeks before we actually did it, every time he walked by, we would flick him really hard on the testicles. That way, when he finally did it, he was pretty glad to get rid of it. Word 
birds are crazy, aren't they? How, how come some things burn up and other things burn down? That's crazy, isn't it? Hey, Mom, where's all those old pictures of Grandma? Oh, they all burned up when the house burned down. <laughs> chop. Chop is the same thing. Some things you chop up, some things you chop down. Some both. A tree, you have to chop it down before you chop it up. <laughs> How come when your alarm goes off, you have to turn it off? <laughs> turn the alarm off. Why? It's going off. Then why do I have to turn it off? Because it's going off. <laughs> I, um, the other day I had to take my pants in to have them taken out. <laughs> Some things, some words mean the opposite and we don't even think about it. Like left, the word left, sometimes that means the opposite of what it means. It's like we had five puppies, but two left, so we have three left. Really? How many left? Two. So how many left? Three. I was walking with my wife through the mall and we were walking by this rack of pants and she goes, I want to get these pants. And I said, what, what are they? She goes, they're yoga pants. And I go, oh, well, you don't do yoga. She goes, I know, but they're cool. And I go, yeah, but you don't do yoga. She goes, well, I'm getting them. I said, well, I don't care what you get, but you know what? While we're here, why don't we get some cooking pants? <laughs> Some do the dishes pants. As long as you're stocking up on uniforms for sports you never play, let's get some kayak pants and some backgammon pants. We should see if they got some sex pants laying around. Get some of those. Oh man, it's almost time for me to get off. I don't want to do it up here in front of everybody, so um, I'm gonna go backstage and take a selfie. So um, I got a kid now. I got a kid. Well, at least until his parents come up with the ransom money. We don't know. We don't, I don't have any kids. My wife wants me to get a vasectomy. She hasn't actually come right out and said it. It's just that lately, every time I walk by her, she's been flicking me really hard. 